Hello guys, Tivik here and welcome back to another episode of Factorio and the monsters are on our walls. Not really, it's just these. I'm surprised that um, pollution isn't spreading further in. But I wanted to take a look at starting a little bit with rail today. Um, but I also need to set up the solid fuel. Now that we are using the petroleum gas up here. You'll see that we have 1.4k in this tank and 1.1, so that one is dropping. If these ever get full, I won't be able to. Uh, I won't be able to use those. I, ne I would need to vent, and I don't want to do that. Okay, so what we need to do? This needs to go over to where I want to have the railway and the main rail station. Well, smelting is done here, so I need to have some up here. So I think that the resource trains will come in up here and unload their stuff so they can so we can move all the resources down and smelt them. We can expand this smeltery area here. Um so maybe I don't need to go like this. Also, we will be able to get brass and bronze. Didn't I make bronze? Hmm. Electrum, no. Gold, no. We need to bring in the materials, that's the thing. So, the reason why I made these blueprints is that Farl has a way of handling blueprints. So, what I. Oh, sorry. I'm gonna use uh, this area here. This is the width I want. I want power poles to go there. This is the forward track. And this is the other weight. So, it go in this direction. Now, I copy this into a blueprint. And I put it down here. Now we need to do diagonals. And these are a bit tricky. Uh, we should do them in this direction. Okay, how many do we get in here? It's one, two, three, four, five, six. I want to do one, two, three, four, five, and six. Like so. That's too wide, isn't it? Yeah, it's too wide. Let's drop it down to there. That looks better, doesn't it? Yeah. And the same here. Signal one way, signal the other way, and... Am I out of these guys? Yeah. And these in the middle. I think that'll do. So let's uh, blueprint that. And put it in there. Now, here's going to be the interesting part. Can I now... Um, let's go to settings and read blueprints. We have saved blueprint for diagonal rail with big pole. Um, perfect. I've set it to collect wood, but I'm going to turn that off because we are producing and overproducing wood, so we don't need that. Now, if I were to pick up... Two stacks, three, four stacks. Like that, we'll make... We'll grab a bunch of you. I'm only gonna need about four stacks at any point, so... We are going to move these in. And I'm gonna make sure that the upper part is only rail track. Except for these two, I think. Um, I'm gonna need four stacks of you. Two stacks of you. I'm limiting what I can have now. Actually, 
make it three stacks for now. I would like to have concrete here in the future, but for now let's put in tracks. Okay, with this setup I will now make it so that even if I insert more than I can, it just won't uh, be a problem, okay. But it can't actually turn, but that will just be something that I bring with me. Now I can destroy these. Since I have it blueprinted. If I now hop into this one and pr press start, it should start building for me. Oh, yes. Now we are set. So I can turn now. It will turn the train around and then it will start placing down these again. We're out of rail, rail signals. And that is very important that you don't run out because uh, if you do, well... That will be a big issue later. Okay. Now I can tell you to go back to Farl base. Actually, you can't. Stop. <laughs> um, we need to make a switch track here. So let me get some diagonal poles. Well, diagonal tracks. And we're going to need... We got a bunch of those. That'll be fine. I'm going to place it here. There. Excellent. Now, tracks are great if you make them right. Um, this is the stop point for this only, so you can go both ways on this. Um, meanwhile, that's the exit. And that is two way. Why can you not? I don't need to worry about those actually. I should do. And then we can make this. And that should work. But this is for the farl. Do I need to? I don't need two tracks here. So let's rework this a bit. Oh, this is going to take forever. Placing down track manually and breaking it manually it takes forever. Meanwhile, we should probably grab a bunch of iron and uh, start making those poles. All the signals. Poles? I don't know where I get that from. Because these are something that we will be using lots of. I'll probably make them up here somewhere. It's just basic boards and yeah, probably gonna be able to make that there. Right, so we don't need that here. Can just have one track and we'll make the white track. Um, I'll show you that later. And now we can do this. Excellent. And take that away and we place one there. One of you. Excellent. That's all we need. We got railway. Hooray! Now, obviously, let's start and we'll keep doing this. It will destroy anything that is in the way except for this. And that's the next research I'm gonna do. Gates. 
because this would leave an open an opening in the wall and I don't want that. Um, however, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set this up like this. There's gonna be a bit of a service area as well, so um, we are going to do a corner like so and like so it's for the far. Up here we'll have the refueling station, I think. Um, because we're gonna need a lot of space for trains um, and uh, refueling will really help us if we have it central and easy to use so we need a way for the track uh, for the trains to turn here if they need to Let's see. I'm making a roundabout. Ah, oh, come on there. We might have to change this up a bit. That'll do. There we go. Point with this roundabout is that no matter where you are on the track, you should be able to turn around here. Which means that we need this and this. So if you're coming from here and need to turn around, you just turn off and go around and out. If you're coming from here I need to turn, you go like so. Perfect. Um, I need to start researching gates. And it's input, output, and I'm gonna lock this down. Excellent. Because now I will be able to do this. Go to here and then tell this one to go to the far. And it will. It will turn around. Perfect. But then let's turn this way. And we will start this one, so we'll keep going like this. Are we out of signal again? This will actually work pretty well. It should place down Huh. Let's see if I go back here and start again.
It doesn't. Ah. Oh. Well then, then we need to place them down manually. We can do that. I thought it would. But, well. It's just a few signals. And these will be gone anyhow because... Are they very far apart? No, it's my normal style. Three wide. Gives me plenty of space for intersections like that. Okay, but we can start now and keep going for a little while longer. And that will be it. Here I will make a... Nope, I won't. Um, I will take this one and drive it back. Against the track. And turn left. And here is where I'm gonna place the white track. Um, you can go down to the base. Because if... I have this one loading. I need to be able to turn it around and uh, load it from the other way around. Sounds neat. Yes. And for this one, it's the same. You got path signal going in. You got a normal signal going out. And that's it. Excellent. Refueling. We should probably place that one somewhere fairly simple. Why not make it at the roundabout? So they need to take the roundabout up. Yeah, that'll do. And... Like so... Be gone, Stone Rock. It's the same setup here, I think, but we'll make this a two uh, train supply area. Hmm. I think. Can I make a diesel locomotive? We'll make two. Because I want to read on this one. The refuel station needs to be named Fuel. And I'm actually gonna take a look at the documentation for smart trains in Factorio. Um, is that not the name of the mod? Smart trains. I'm pretty sure there is one. Smart trains, there we go. Um, I know that there is one. There it is. Okay, so documentation says that if I want to make a, a refuel station, um, Let's take a look at this one. Fuel. If I want a refueling station, of course I don't have enough train stops. If I want a refuel station, they need to be named, for instance, uh, L-C-L for a one uh, wagon long. Okay, we got gates. Perfect. Uh, I'll show you in a bit. Why do we always run out of iron? Gonna make my way down and get a few of these blue boards as well. How are we doing for... Oh wow, we're really producing them. Um, we should increase the production of these guys. Uh, which should be fairly simple to do. We are backing up on transistors, so... Uh, let me just do this and I will fix the setup. Um, Two train stations. I'm 
we do need to do this as well and this. This station, it needs to be named fuel since that's what I set this to fuel space um, L C L. Okay. Fuel LCL. And I can do the same here as well. Fuel LCL. That gives me two of the same, but that would be the same station in the system, I think. Um, so let's add a cargo wagon to this one. And this. This is my normal style of train, by the way. I build with one cargo and one extra, like so. Perfect. Now this one has absolutely zero fuel, so we need to fix that. But I'm going to take the uh, solid fuel up here. And since this is the simple type, we're going to do a... intersection like this like this and we got that we need that and that and finally those and that that way I should be able to have one train queuing to be refueled let's take a little bit of fuel from this guy and move it down here. Perfect. And now that should be it. I would just need to bring the fuel up here. So, real quick before we end this episode, um, let's make... Got three, I need one more. In the next episode, we're gonna set up so that the file is automatically stocked with these items that we need. And... Uh, that means we can start expanding our rail line. We also need to make an ammo stop, which I probably will have down there. Um, so, let's make one more view. And I will do this. I think this will do. We will need a few of you and a few of you. We can do the slow ones, even though it doesn't really matter that much. That should make a few extras. Oh, we need to have that as well. Oops, forgot about that. Not that one. these can go there. Perfect. We now have double up the production of uh, of white electric boards. And we can put this on belts later as well. Uh, but for now, we can make these. Excellent. Okay. So, as I said, in the next episode, we'll look at setting up uh, uh, 
An ammo resupply train. We'll need that. Uh, so we can start making outposts. Because I want to start mining this. That means we're going to start destroying some of those. Uh, which will be fine. We also need to get sulfur. So that will probably be the first. But the train line needs to go alongside here. And I think I want to turn it immediately as we go out here. And go straight down. We won't be using roundabouts. Uh, they are... Mm, I don't know. Not a fan of them. But I think that this will do for this episode. So I hope you have enjoyed this as much as I have. And as always, I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.